This is one of the more cost-effective Amazon models that you can buy for a full-sized mountain bike style e-bike. A couple of things that I really loved, the range and battery power was great, rechargeability worked really well, everything on the bike as a platform was effective. But let's talk about some of the real world downsides, real world expectations which you need to have. Okay, let's start with number one. I am six foot two inches tall. This is a full 26 inch frame and it was definitely a little tight for me. Not bad, uncomfortable kind of tight, but definitely I would have liked it to be a little larger for me to be super easily comfortable on it. I'm just gonna start at the front and move my way back. Control wise, the brakes were adequate, totally fine, worked great, especially once they bedded in a little bit. The shifting mechanism, the Shimano shifters, they all work. They work effectively, never had it derail or get stuck in between gears or anything. But at the same time, they don't seem as crisp and as amazing as obviously more pricey models will. The little computer on it, perfect, worked great. I will also say, I don't know, lying to me or not, but I know it's supposed to go 20 miles an hour, but it seemed to like 20.8 miles an hour the most, which was fine with me. I was good with the extra mile an hour. Shock absorbers were fine, but I think it's worth talking about. These tires are definitely leaning on the road style much more than an off-road real mountain biking things. I'm not sure how well this would work, especially this shock package if you were trying to go serious mountain biking. Two downsides I have that I really noticed when I was assembling it, both the mount for the handlebars and the shafts for the pedals clearly are very cheap cast products, right? You could just see they kind of almost look homemade. Uh, I, they're nice and beefy and hefty. I don't feel like they're gonna fail in any way, shape or form. Getting the threading right on the pedals was a little difficult initially due to the way they were assembled. And this steering neck is completely, this adjuster doesn't work at all. And I think it's just not the greatest construction as you look at things. Again, totally sound. I don't think they're gonna wear out or something like that but they definitely look like a lower quality part. Seat was fine, the adjustability, um, rear wheel tire brakes shifting, and the motor all worked perfectly. So overall, as long as your expectations are correct here, right? You're not buying some high-end, super high-tech, really finished thing. You're buying a basic starter model on Amazon. And as long as that's what your expectations are, this absolutely exceeds on all kinds of levels. I would highly recommend it for that. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.